What's up folks, Repic here, doing a review of my Trek FX1, or am I? Wait a minute, drop bars on a hybrid bike? Yes, that's right, I did a hybrid flat bar to drop bar conversion. Stay tuned. All right guys, I am here with my Trek FX1 hybrid to drop bar conversion bike. And so, yeah, it started as a Trek FX1 flat handlebar bike. And I got it at the start of the COVID pandemic. Um, not sure if I was really gonna be into cycling, but I wanted to just get outdoors a little bit more. So I picked up the FX1. It was about 500, 600 bucks. So got it. And after a while, I realized that I really do like the road uh, bike style a little, little bit more. So I wound up getting a Trek Domane as my primary bike. And I had this laying around, so I figured um, why not try to convert it into a drop bar setup. And my reason for doing that was that I wanted to do it, I wanted to set up the bike to be a trainer bike. So I didn't really care too much about the quality of the shifting and the braking and stuff like that, or the geometry. Um, I just wanted to use it on the trainer um, and have the drop bar set up on the trainer to replicate the outdoor um, rides on my primary bike but anyway there's three things that I needed to do to switch over my um, my hybrid flat bar to the drop bar and the first one being the handlebars I had a handlebar sitting around um, I was experimenting with some handlebars on my road bike um, and I had this one laying around I was gonna return it but I figured just keep it and experiment with it it was 50 bucks for the handlebar the next thing I needed to get were shifters. Shifters, I needed them for this setup. This is three gears in the front, seven in the back. They call that three by seven. And so there were two options that I found online, one being the Shimano three by seven, um, an old style. And those were about $120. And then I found these ones. These are called Micro New. Found them on Amazon for 50 bucks. So I figured give them a shot. And uh, it works out pretty good. Um, yeah, and the last thing I needed was the stem. The stem I needed, the, and that was only like 20 bucks. So I converted this bike for about 120, max maybe 150, because I had to get cables and stuff, but, um, and it works great. Um, let's take you out on the road, see how it rides. Riding my Franken bike, hybrid to drop bar conversion and just cruising around the neighborhood give you an idea of how it uh how it how it runs but um yeah i mean it shifts i mean it shifts perfectly fine i mean these brakes brakes work sometimes though if i go into the uh the small gear in the back and then i try to go all the way to the small gear in the uh front if you can hear that it got a little bit hung up but i'm cross shading pretty bad so that might just be the way that the three by seven works so if i go down the if i go down to the cassette down the cassette or maybe up the cassette into the bigger gears eventually it'll resolve itself just like that okay i mean the brakes work fine you know, like, this is a good backup bike. I don't think I would use it as a primary bike because I have the primary bike. But for me, this conversion has worked out pretty nicely. Um, I've got a dedicated bike trainer bike that has the drop bar handlebars, so I'm able to be on the trainer and uh, replicate my drop bar setup. So that's really why I did this. And, you know, got a little bit of a backup bike all right guys so that's the video thanks for watching if you have any questions about my uh, hybrid to drop bar conversion let me know in the comments i'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have about this and subscribe if you haven't that really helps me out and that's all i've got for today thank you very much for watching repic out